I'm Michael. This is the Heracles version 2. Welcome to the Old Age. <laughs> So here we go guys, the Heracles version 2 by Sense. Now it comes in three different colors. It comes in stainless steel, rose gold, and the black that you see in front of you. It's going to come in this plastic display. On the back it's going to have a holographic sticker with QR code and scratch authentication. Go ahead and open it up. We have the Heracles V2 sub on the tank to the left and on the right. You'll see it has this ledge. Just hook your thumb in there and open it up. You have a pamphlet with some diagrams and information on how to fill the tank and, and change some, some parts out. So uh, it's going to come with two coil heads. Now there's three available for it. Canthal, which is available in 0.4 and 0.6 ohms, and stainless steel and nickel, which are both available in 0.2 ohms. So it comes pre-installed with the 0.4 ohm canthal and they include the 0.2 ohm stainless steel in here too so you can go ahead and get some temperature control out of the box. Uh, it comes with uh, replacement glass, same mill capacity as the one that's on it, it's just a straight up replacement. So here it is, the Heracles V2, all stainless steel construction, has, uh, has this really nice black finish on it, it's not paint, it's not going to you know heat up and start start coming apart on you or anything like that this is a, a good quality finish on here now it's two mil tank capacity which is one mil down from the original Heracles so all they did was shorten the chimney section on here you can still use the same coils in both now it's 58 millimeters now from top of the included drip tip to the bottom of the Addy 22 and 22.3 diameter and copper pin. Now it has four slots for airflow and it also has adjustable juice flow control on the inside of the tank there and this on off indicator so twist to the left for on which it is twist to the left or to the right for off. See it closes it opens it. Top flow or a uh, top fill design has a nice wide bore drip tip, but the uh, product is only as good as the sum of its parts, so let's go ahead and break this down and take a look at it. Now, we'll start off with the drip tip. It has a stainless steel, stainless steel covered Delrin drip tip, so it mitigates the heat. Next, we'll take the top cap off, and this will get you down to the, the fill section of the atomizer so your fill holes are right there underneath that and this will break completely down so you can clean it out very very easily so nice uh, nice o-rings in here no leakages whatsoever you got the nice wide o-rings your two mil tank chimney section with the on off airflow and then your coil. So we'll go ahead and get this back together here. there we have it we're ready to fill it up so what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna hold down on the bottom section here and I'm gonna rotate this off you can remove the the coil head while there's juice in the tank just make sure that you hold it upside down and that your juice flow control is always off whenever you're filling the tank so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take just a little bit of juice Put it right here on this screen. Now this uses a uh, the patented uh, design coils that that Sense makes. They're the uh, the tri coil. I want to 
wet these up just a little bit before I put any juice in the tank. So those are good and wet now we'll put it back in and screw it down now make sure that you have your airflow turned off and also make sure that your juice flow is turned off too this uses a positive airflow system so it forces what air is in the tank builds pressure so it pushes the juice down into the coils and if you open that up whenever the uh, the coil heads are open juice just tends to flood everywhere whenever the vacuum is released So we'll go ahead and fill up the tank. And there we go. I always use it, uh, leave just a little bit of room in here for air. You could fill it all the way to the top, but especially whenever you first fill it, go ahead and fill it up to. Uh, just leave a little bit of air in, in the very top of it so it has uh, has a little pressure in there to push down into the coils all right so that's it we're gonna uh, we're gonna go ahead and throw this on a on a mod and we'll open up the juice flow control there just like that and you see the bubbles already starting to come out and open up the the air holes so that's it guys I'm gonna take you back up top we'll uh, we'll vape on this and I'll tell you what I think about it okay guys so you just got through watching the up close of the Heracles version 2 by sense and you're wondering what I think about it I like it $24.99 is the price on this through vapor DNA uh, I think it's absolutely worth $24.99 for uh, for a sub ohm tank of this quality i mean you got good fit and finish um really nice tolerances on this sense is not disappointed one bit and we'll go from top down for pros to cons so for the pros i'm going to say that the top the top uh fill design is is excellent on these models uh, you have nice wide fill holes so you can use the needle tip or you can use dropper bottles just fine on these uh, going down the chimney section, the, the shortness of the chimney section is good. Gives you a nice warm vape, lots and lots of flavor, and uh, gives you this, this nice shortened uh, profile here. The coil head, the coil head by Sense is top notch. It's a very, very good coil head. That tri -coil design that they have patented for these models is just excellent. And the fact that this is the same coil head that they use in their other atomizers makes them very easy to find. So you can run down to your local shop or get them in bulk online. No issues with finding coils for this. Next, we'll go to the juice flow control. I like the juice flow control. It works just fantastic. It stays in place. I don't have to worry about it rotating. Whenever you're not using your atomizer, make sure you just go ahead and close that juice flow off. Sense recommends that just so you don't have you know juice soaking into the cotton. I've never had a wet hit off of this to where you know I'm just completely flooded out by leaving it open, but definitely just close it down and go ahead and close the air holes down too. Saves your juice and uh, doesn't uh, saves you from having any kind of leakage issues. Next is the airflow control. The airflow on this is good. It's really good. Four large airflow, airflow holes. Uh, Gives you a nice customizable vape. Let me have a toke off of this. So, working our way down from there, the Copper 510 is going to be my last pro for this. I really like the fact that it's a full Copper 510 pin. It's not a plated pin. Uh, some of the plated pins that I have have worn off, like the gold plating and the silver plating, has worn down over time because I do take my atomizers on and off quite often because I'm vaping so many different products uh, each day, it seems like. Now my cons are just subjective cons. They're nothing, they're nothing that is uh, performance related on this. The only cons that I have are maybe the, uh, 
the juice capacity on this. I mean, two mils, I understand why they do it, because you do have vape restrictions in certain areas, so they left it at two mils, but I think we could have got two and a half mils out of this, made a lot of people very, very happy on here. Um, just by just by making this a 24 millimeter atomizer, I mean, the 24 millimeters still look good on on most mods nowadays. Most mods have, have bulked out a little bit, so it will take the 24 millimeter atomizers. So that's something that I think could have been done a little bit better on here. Other than that, I don't really see any other cons. I, I do wish that they had uh, made a, a rebuildable deck for these. I think that would have added value to the, to the atomizer itself. But there again, it's just a subjective con. It's not, it's not a con over performance. It's just maybe a suggestion. So that's all I really have for this for this atomizer. I think it's a really good atomizer. I think if you're looking for a good sub ohm atomizer that's really easy to to uh, find coil heads for, you don't have to fuss with it a whole lot. Just throw a coil head in and head out. This may be for you. Now. Uh, I go through a lot of juice being that it's only two mil capacity. I'm filling this up quite often. You know, uh, I can sit here and maybe vape this out in 30 minutes, you know, because I chain vape whenever I'm doing these videos and also whenever I'm testing for reviews, I, I tend to chain vape quite a bit. Um, that's all I have for you guys. So the scent Heracles version two is done. So let me know what you think down in the comments. And uh, we'll see you next time. And remember, you are the homage. Peace.